so we're here at EFA this year, um, introducing new 8th gen Intel quad-core processors to our very popular XPS 13 device. What we're seeing with um, not only that 8th gen uh, bump to four cores, eight threads, um, is with the combination of Dell's dynamic power mode, where we've engineered this to be um, have, give you bursts of power when you need it. We're seeing up to 44% um, improvement in performance over 7th gen processors. We've got the, um, other than that, the device as always is made of machined aluminum. Um, we've got a beautiful rose gold and a silver version. Um, carbon fiber, um, Gorilla Glass for the touch screen. And, um, and we've also got a full HD non-touch version as well. Um, and this is Quad HD Plus and um, it's touch. Um, we've got a backlit keyboard, precision touchpad. Um, the device is very balanced. It goes up to an i7 quad core processor, has up to 16 gig of memory and a terabyte solid state drive. So plenty of power in a very sleek device, um, a little over 1.2 kilos. Um, and very long battery life as well. So for someone on the go, up to 22 hours on that full HD um, in terms of battery life. We've also got an op optional fingerprint reader. Um, so you can log in with a touch with Windows Hello. Also in the XPS 13, a very thin device, lightweight, so excellent for portability as you, as you travel around. Um, it starts around 1.2 kilograms. It also has, um, you know, essential ports. It's got two USB-A ports, one's on the other side, a full SD card slot, a Noble Lock for security, um, a Thunderbolt 3 port, um, which enables not only one cable docking, but you could actually charge your system this way, um, run displays this way, um, a headphone, headphone jack, um, and then this is your battery indicator that lets you know how much battery you have left in your system. So um, we also have a little 4-in-1 uh, adapter that has um, an HDMI and VGA for those legacy ports that you may need um, that connects via USB-C.